95.3 FM is the all-new Live 95. Finally, a radio station that plays your music. This is live music on Live 95. The all-new Live 95. 95.3 FM, the all-new Live 95. And the scary thing is, now people actually get to put a picture with the voice. And you'll see why we're on the radio and not doing your job. <laughs> what do you think I look like? You know? They were, hey, I, I know what I wish you looked like. <laughs> would that be Tom Wopat? Tom yeah, Wopat? that would be Tom Wopat. Chris Hardwick. Live 95 morning radio personalities tease one another about being seen on TV. But anyone on 25th Avenue in downtown Gulfport can already see the big show through the big studio window. We're so lucky to have that window because basically we can just mess with anybody, see everybody out there, take it out on the street, and people can see into us too and kind of get an insight into everything we do every day. So it's really neat. Hockey takes the studio stage during our visit. The Seawolves' Kevin Evans stops by for a little one on one challenge with the overmatched Darren Keyes. But this is no ordinary shootout. We're talking jelly donuts as pucks, and Evans firing the raspberry filled missiles at the studio window while Darren plays goalie. <laughs> It got a bit messy as the Seawolves' tough guy whipped Radio Man. Kevin Evans of the Seawolves beating Darren in one-on-one -on -one hockey by a score of 8 to that 6. That was awesome. Oh, that was beautiful, Kevin. <laughs> what was your strategy? I mean, you whipped his butt. I tried to hit him as many times as I could. It's the kind of stunt listeners have come to expect from the big show, like toying with the TV guy. Number three, what interaction takes place between you and the animal? And then the very first thing you visualize. A big show personality profile analyzes the action reporter as a frustrated psychotic ready to snap at any moment. More fun radio. The kind of stuff that keeps this team live wires in the morning. All three of us, I think I can speak for both of these guys, we get out of bed in the morning just like, yeah, it's time to go to work. She this gets out of bed great. like that. We just got to drag it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just me, but it's really fun. and We really have a good time. Good times, early morning in the middle of downtown Gulfport. Steve Phillips, Newswatch 13. Basically, those are the only rules. They can take breaks whenever they want, and whoever sits in all of the Coliseum's uh, fixed seats first wins the battle of the butts. Jittery contestants try and calm their butt or flies. They draw numbers for position and talk strategy. Well, I'm just going to start at the top and kind of, you know, work across the Coliseum and then, then work on the lower, lower level and then, you know, just kind of fill in where I have to. And you know, I'm wearing Nike Air sneakers. I wish that I was saying at work, I wish they had Nike Air for the butts. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yes. Live 95 radio lures a familiar face to serve as the celebrity pace butt. David Elliott gets the bottoms bouncing. Here, he Here we go, one more. And they're off. Five contestants, 9,150 Coliseum seats. Jill the Bud Girl jumps to the early lead, but pacing is important. Just taking row by row, trying to slowly work my way down. Less than an hour into the contest, the Coliseum looks awfully large, and tushes are already tiring. Got to rest for just a second. While Mike the married guy rests, his cheerleading wife waits. He better win me those Elton John tickets. <laughs> <laughs> How hard can this be? At two seconds a seat, that's just 18,300 seconds. That's only 350 minutes. That's only five hours, and that's just crazy. Just a few hours into it, the energetic Dusty agrees. D what, Dusty, what's the story? I'm folding. I'm folding. folding. Oh, yes, Dusty. there's a voice in my head that says I'm being a quitter, and then there's another voice that it's okay to realize your limitations. That girl's got it in the bag. Jill the Bud Girl still leads it while others struggle to catch up. Five hours after the start, Five, the final few four, seats. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jill Goulart of Biloxi wins the Battle of the Butts on her birthday, no less. Steve you? Phillips, Newswatch 13. Are you, are you exhausted? Yeah. Would you ever do this again? Probably. You would? <laughs> All right, well, you need to be here tomorrow morning at 6.30. Not tomorrow. Back out of Casino Magic. Is that right? <laughs>
Yeah. What a nice segue. <laughs> Thank you very much. Where will you be, Regis? <laughs> Friday night, I'm going to be at Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. That's mm. just out of between New Orleans and Biloxi, all those uh, showboats down there. Casino Magic Are you on, on Friday showboat? night. <laughs> yeah, I think it is a, a, a gambling boat, you know? And I just talked to these guys at uh, Live 95, Scott, Darren, and Virginia. You want to know who they wanted to talk about? Gelman's girlfriend, Lori Hibbert. Both of these guys have got a crush on Lori Hibbert. That's all they we can't have her. About. They, they can't, can't have her. her. Ooh. See? <laughs> you know, incidentally, my friends, that is what it's going to take. As soon as the guy feels, hey, somebody else is moving in on my domain, That's all it takes. you can't have her. <laughs> That's the first little possessive. Yes, you, know, you see, Lori's ever... playing it too cool. She should let him know the guys who come on to her. Well, maybe Lori would like to meet these guys. Lori's uh, obviously met them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Araska Pool. Yeah. Uh, which how did you yours? do last night? Making sure the office runs smoothly. You even hear some bosses saying, "What would I do without my secretary?" But most times, secretaries don't get the appreciation they deserve. That's why today is dedicated to secretaries all over the country. And one Coast secretary got more than just flowers on this special day. She got the surprise of her life. Trang Phan Bui explains. It's enough to make a lot of secretaries green with envy. Jerry Johnson, a secretary at a D'Iberville law firm, arrives at the Grand Casino Gulfport in style. Have fun, ladies. And pampering. She won the Secretary's Day contest sponsored by radio station Live 95. I was listening in the kitchen to the radio, and they said they were going to call up the winner. And then our phone started ringing. I was like, God, I can't believe the phone is ringing, and I'm going to miss who the winner is. And it was them on the phone, and I started screaming. Johnson calmed down by the time the limo arrived to pick her up at work. The boss gave her the rest of the day off so she can get the royal treatment by getting her hair done. The radio station says people like Johnson deserve a break. We decided that... We want to do something special for one secretary because we know how it is. A lot of bosses forget their secretary on Secretary's Day and they don't do anything for them. This is certainly a day Johnson will never forget. Besides the makeover, she also got a bag of goodies and $100 to buy jewelry. The one right here, the princess cut in the third row. The day is not over yet. The limo whisks Johnson away so she can finish her shopping. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to go back to work or not. <laughs> Trang Phan Bui, Newswatch 13. No, you're going to have to go to work. It's going to be hard. Johnson also was treated to lunch, a massage, plus $50 to spend on clothes. Couldn't ask for any more than that. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll be looking for you tonight at 10 o'clock.